Correspondence at KevinandMayo.com. What else is out? What else should we be going to see? Champions, which is uh, the new movie by Bobby Farrelly, one half of the Farrelly brothers, Bobby and Peter Farrelly. Um, you know, they Dumb and Dumber, something uh, about Mary, me, myself, and Irene, Shallow Hal, all that stuff. Uh, Peter Farrelly struck gold with Green Book, um, which as we've mentioned before, went on to become the driving Miss Daisy. Where the racist is in front. <laughs> the racist. But it's, uh, t- that of all the years that we've worked together, that's one of your best lines. Thank you. Oh, no, I mean, that's a good thing. No. I, don't, I don't mean like... Big, that, no, that well, it kind of still works. It's a, it? It, it genuinely still works. So this is a remake of the 2018 Spanish film Campeones, which was inspired by the real-life story of a basketball team. Um, uh, and so this is... So this is based on a movie that's inspired by a real life story. So therefore, sort of far removed from the real life story, but kind of somewhere in the background. <clears throat> so Woody Harrelson, who actually got his you know big break in White Men Can't Jump, and uh, was one of the stars of the Farrelly's bowling comedy uh, Kingpin. He's Marcus Marakovich. He's an irascible minor league base uh, basketball uh, assistant coach. He fights with his superior on the pitch and then off the pitch he's drunk and he drives into the back of a police car. Um, He gets pulled up in front of a judge who says, well, you're going to have to do uh, 90 days community service, coaching adults with intellectual disabilities. And he says, I I can't take community service. And she says, well, in that case, you can go to prison. He says, no, no, when when I say I I can't take, I mean, I want to give. I, I I want to give community service. So he takes on the 90 days coaching, as he's told, adults with intellectual disabilities. So he turns up um, at the club that he has to, he's told at the beginning, look, you don't have to turn them into, into the Lakers. You just have to make them feel like a team. And the team includes uh, Kevin Yanucci's Johnny, who uh, is uh, this animal lover with an aversion to showers, um, whose sister, Alex, played by Caitlin Olsen, uh, Woody Harrelson's character, is met briefly. He's hooked up with her briefly. Um, Marlon, played by Casey Metcalf, uh, who's a walking encyclopedia who knows tons and tons of stuff. <clears throat> Darius, played by Joshua Felder, who is this talented player who's got real forgiveness issues because there is a connection between him and the drunk driving charge on um, which Woody Harrelson's character is. I mean, he refuses to play ball. And then Cosentino, played by Madison uh, Tevlin, who is absolutely kick-ass in every sense. And then, <clears throat> pardon me, <clears throat> and then a character called Showtime, whose uh, who's move is that he throws the ball at the basket backwards. Wow. And Woody says, has he ever scored? And he says, in all the time I've known him, he's never even hit the rim, but he's absolutely due to score. Now, you don't, you don't have to kind of be incredibly cine literate in sports movies to know how this is all going to play out. That obviously what's going to happen is he wants a job at the NBA. He's been given this thing in which he has to work with, um, you know, with people that he wouldn't initially want to work with. And he's kind of offy about it and he's crass and he's bumbling and he, you know, and he's rude. And then he starts to realize that there is more to life than what he had expected before. And they end up on the road to the Special Olympics in which he is inevitably going to be faced with the possibility, look, perhaps this is where you belong. So here's the thing with this. Um, you know, the Farrelly's humour has often been incredibly blunt and incredibly, you know, sort of gross out, and uh, people I, uh, have often taken against their humour. One of the things that people haven't uh, necessarily in the past always given them credit for is the fact that they have really, really excelled in uh, in diverse casting. In fact, in 2020, they got an award from the Ruderman Foundation in recognition of their advocacy for the inclusive and authentic representation of people with disabilities in the entertainment industry. And I remember interviewing them many, many years ago in which we were talking about this. And they said, you know, it, it, it's extraordinary. Quite often in our films, there are... Uh, uh, people with disabilities, you wouldn't even know that that's the case. We have just, it's always, it's been a big thing for them. Um, I thought this worked really well. I went in thinking, you know, I don't know much about it and I'm not a huge uh, fan of that particular you know, sports genre movie. But I really liked it. Firstly, the 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 relative newcomers absolutely hold their own against the kind of seasoned professionals. I mean, they're, they're kind of fully rounded characters. They're raucous. They're rude. They're funny. They're, you know, it's really, really en- entertaining watching and all this kind of, you know, the feel good stuff on the... On the court, basketball court, is that yes. a court? Yeah, court, court. I wonder whether the pitch or anything. You know, yeah, all works right. really well. Secondly, the relationship between um, Woody Harrison's character and uh, and Alex, played by Kenan Olsen, is actually really well done and reminded me of the Rennie Russo 
Kevin Costner relationship in Tin Cup. It's kind of, you know, she's absolutely, she's got the measure of him and she, you know, doesn't take any nonsense from him. And he's kind of, all the humour in the movie is about him being an idiot. All the all the the butts of the jokes are him. And I thought it was, I thought it was really well done. It's got all that kind of typical Farrelly brothers, you know, quite adroitly chosen needle drops. They make very good use of Chumbawamba's uh, tub thumping, which is actually, they do it as a, carp- as a carpool karaoke thing, you know, and it's, it is actually really funny. I thought it was really charming. And I came out of it and I spoke to a couple of critics and friends of mine. We went, wow, that, did you expect that to be? And it would, no, it was really well done. And a really interesting cast, all funny, lots of very kind of well-timed comedy and fully rounded characters with, you know, sort of warts and all, uh, raucous, badly behaved, as you saw from that uh, from, from that clip, humour. I liked it. I thought it was. I thought it worked really well. And it is heartwarming. And uh, there aren't that many movies that you can say that of. It's directed by Bobby Farrelly, and it's called Champions. And I, yeah, I, I thought it was a real treat. Uh, if you see it, let us know what you think. Correspondence at kerbinamayo.com. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. While you're here, check out all the other videos because they're cool too, aren't they? Yeah. And if you want to keep up to date with everything Kermit and Mayo's take, then check out our social channels. I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, I, I would. I have done. Excellent.